Hey, today on Ready Pet Go, it is medical diagnosis no pet owner wants to receive. But the reality is cancer strikes dogs at about the same rate as humans, while cats have better odds. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins tells us about a type of cancer treatment now available here in Northeast Ohio, and it's getting good results at a lower cost, too. This is Metropolitan Veterinary in Highland Heights, a 30,000 square foot facility that opened in 2022. In addition to a 24 seven emergency room, the specialty hospital also offers internal medicine, surgery, neurology, cardiology, and ophthalmology. But today, we're here to talk about cancer. The field is really rapidly evolving. Um, and actually, we're excited here to be a site for clinical trials, looking at newer therapies um, for treatment of various diseases. Just as with humans and pets, the main avenues of cancer treatment include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. But now, Metropolitan has become the first in Northeast Ohio to offer another form of treatment called electrochemotherapy, or ECT. It boosts the delivery of chemotherapy drugs into cancer cells using short but intense electrical pulses. What that's going to do is going to create holes in the cancer cells and allows the chemotherapy to rush in at much higher concentrations, so up to even a thousand fold what we would get otherwise. Your pet would be under anesthesia, but for demonstration purposes, oncologist Megan Brown is showing us on Isla, a sweet pup willing to be our stunt dog for the day. It's a nice option for clients that can't necessarily do the standard of care, or if the tumor is not amenable to surgery, we still have options that are gonna involve lower cost, fewer anesthesia episodes, and we can do it right here. ECT can be used in place of radiation, which often involves more visits and travel time. But when it comes to deciding what's right for you and your pets, that's an individual choice, one that Dr. Brown believes should focus on quality of life and not necessarily length of years. I'm a firm believer of treatment should never be worse than the disease. So we are really here to help maintain or improve quality of life and to never detract from it. Good girl. Monica Robbins, 3 News. So effectiveness of ECT depends on how many factors, including tumor type and size, though still relatively new compared to other treatments, long-term results of electrochemotherapy are considered very good. So we put more information for you in our Ready Pet Go section, and that is on WKYC.com.